Yo, what's going on, guys? Is Pure Gamer here again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. And in the beginning, I want to go ahead and just say that I think I'm gonna go ahead and start scheduling um, Dragon Ball Super episode reviews on Monday, and then just do whatever other video that I decide on every other day. On Monday, I kind of want to exclusively keep it the Dragon Ball Super or just like other Dragon Ball related content. But if it ends up changing, just uh, don't worry about it. But for right now, I want to see how it works with Monday, and I want to see what you guys think about it being uploaded uploaded on Monday. Or if you want it to be uploaded even sooner, I can I can try to work on that as well. But um, anyways, I want to go ahead and continue continue on with the video on Dragon Ball Super episode 63. I'm always fucking wrong. I always think I'm wrong, but it's episode 63. No, it is. It is. It's episode 63. And in this episode, uh, we in the beginning it it goes to a flashback of Trunks fighting off uh, Goku Black and Zamasu, and he's just left there in the in the in the, in the future. I'm sorry, by himself. He's fighting him off and stuff like that. And then Goku and Vegeta go back to the past to find a way to defeat uh, Goku Black and Zamasu. And then the episode begins off with them uh, training uh, for whatever time period that they could. Um, they got stronger. Goku learned the Mafuba, or the, the Evil Containment Wave, as the dub for Dra uh, Dragon Ball uh, uh, said it was. But they, they, uh, he learned the Mafuba. Vegeta uh, got stronger because he trained and um, the Room of Speeder Time or the Hyperbolic Time Chamber from the, uh, the dub of Dragon Ball Z. And basically, they went back to the future again to fight Goku and Zamasu a third time. A third time. And before we before we continue on with with them fighting in the episode, I want to say a, a, I want to talk about a little bit of what happened a, a little bit earlier in the episode. So, the thing that uh, that really like surprised me. I don't know, I don't know why this really surprised me, but it did. But apparently, Bulma from the future had left a my uh, a bullet that was basically however much time stronger than a normal bullet. And they actually caught Goku Black off guard and then actually knocked him down to the ground. Did it kill him? No, obviously it didn't fucking kill him, but it caught him off guard, which is... I, I guess that, that's all that really matters, but that, I guess... whatever. Anyways, uh, they uh, Goku Black and Zamasu, they shoot up a key blast over to where Mai and two other soldiers of, uh, of the army that she's basically leading, which is basically fucking nothing now at this point. And then, of course, Trunks, being the fucking badass that he is, he goes ahead and just deflects uh, the blast up into the sky and explodes. Goku Black and Zamasu go ahead and start fighting uh, Trunks again and his fake Super Saiyan Blue form or whatever the fuck. I, mean, he still don't know what it, I, I still don't know what it's called or what it is, honestly. I think it's just Super Saiyan Trunks with God Key. That's all I'm going to say that it really is. But he then fires off. He starts fighting. He started to fight Goku Black on his own. As a monster, he's doing whatever the fuck. I don't understand what he's doing. But Trunks is holding his own. He's fighting Goku Black. He's holding. He's holding his own. Uh, and then he threw his sword at him. And they have a really cool like beam sword and sword fight clash against each other. I, I thought that was really cool. Uh, Trunks throws his sword over at Go Goku Black. Uh, gets distracted with a decoy. And then he started just wailing on that motherfucker, and then he shoots off basically a full power Gallic gun over at Goku Black, and then uh, he's down, but he's not, but he's not dead, and I'll explain why later on um, in a little bit. Uh, he starts fighting Zamasu, uh, um, the immortal Zamasu. I'm just gonna call, I'm just gonna ref uh, reference him as that, the the immortal Zamasu, the Zamasu in the future, and basically. Uh, you know, this time, whatever happens, whatever bullshit, bullshit. And then Chunks was getting was getting prepared to literally blow himself up. I, he uh, he was literally getting ready to just blow himself up because he said, because in his mind, he thought that he had beaten Goku Black. And he's like, okay, obviously I can't kill someone who's immortal, but does that mean they can regenerate? Like, obviously, like, like someone like Cell, for example. So he then he then he then tries to go and prepare to blow himself up, and then oh, what do you know? Fucking Goku Black shows up, and then he basically just fucking stabs him in the fucking chest, or really in the gut, really. And then he stabs him, and then 
and then uh, they go back to Trunks. Just fucking gets, gets down on the ground. He's almost fucking dead. I'm ram I'm rambling on because I'm still like really hyped because of what happened in the end of the episode for episode 63. That was really amazing. I'll go. I'll get onto that later. But um, uh, Bulma, Vegeta, and Goku get back to the future. Um, and then they're getting ready to fight, and then of course Goku Black being the dickhead that he is, he goes ahead and destroys the time machine. And then, uh, and I want to I want to talk about this maybe maybe in a different video, but um, Goku Black then notices uh, like a little bit later on when they're talking shit like that that Bulma was <laughs> was, he was she was trying to uh, extinguish the fire that was in the time machine. And I'll get on to later I'll get I'll get on to later with that as well. And why she was doing that. But Goku Black notices that she's there. And I don't know if he's going to like try to like, kill her possibly. Or do something. Probably just like get something close to, to death. And then probably um, Trunks and Veg uh, Vegeta are probably going to have this really fucking cool moment. I think that would be awesome. Uh, but anyways. That's not the point. What is the point is Goku and Vegeta. Uh, Black and Zamasu. They're, they're preparing to fight. And then Gowasu from the past, uh, uh, f from uh, the current timeline that we know, and the Supreme Kai of the Northern Quadrant, as, as you know it from the dub, I'm pretty sure. That's the only way they would refer it to it as. But um, the North Kaioshin, and the Seventh Universe Kaioshin, uh, they're both there. Gowasu and the Supreme Kai from the, seventh, uh, from the Seventh Universe are there in the future because Gowasu uses Time Ring to go to the future and then he's going on he's going off about like Zamasu I'm so disappointed in you the fact that you decided to switch bodies with uh with the uh, you decided to switch bodies with Goku and stuff like, and stuff like this you killed all these people why why did you do this I was so disappointed in you the fact that I was training you to become the next Kaioshin and you just did this Gawasu was so just he so he felt so disrespected I feel like he was so disrespected from Zamasu and the fact that he was doing this in, in the future timeline and he had no idea. But uh, we didn't uh, find out a little bit more about Whis, surprisingly. We find out a little bit more about Whis because they go off and explain uh, that they uh, killed all the gods basically in the future in the future timeline. And then Goku points out like why uh, why didn't Whis do anything? Why didn't he like revert back time so he can like do anything about it? The thing about Whis is that he only exists if there is a god destruction at that moment in time. So let's say Beerus dies, um, Whis no longer exists because Whis is an angel. He's essentially an angel and he can only exist because Beerus exists. If he dies, the Supreme Kai also dies and then Whis is just completely gone and he doesn't exist anymore. So we find out a little bit more, uh, more about the gods essentially in the universe of Dragon Ball and basically a little bit in this episode but then we actually get on to the fighting I'll get I'll get into that in a second but the reason why I mentioned that uh, Bulma was trying to extinguish out the time machine was because she she brought like this whole fucking set just to like repair it yeah, I thought that was actually kind of funny because she also says Yo, Trunks, I want—I need you to fix this urn because um, they, uh, Goku was going to plan on using the Mafuba on Zamasu and Black, but it was in a time machine when they blew it up, so it broke. And then uh, Bulma, I thought it was really funny. Bulma was like, yo, you're good with puzzles. You can go ahead and fix this urn, right? And then Trunks is like, oh, come on, man. I can't fucking do this. This is bullshit. But no, we didn't actually get to the fighting. Um, Vegeta takes on Black, and then Goku takes on Zamasu this time this time around and then there's a significant power difference from black and vegeta vegeta is significantly more stronger than black at, the, at that moment in time and of course goku can't really overpower zamasu because zamasu is immortal but that doesn't mean I, I don't think that means that goku is not technically stronger than uh than zamasu who is immortal but uh, vegeta he's starting to just like beat the shit out of black he's starting to just like like throw punch after punch after just key blast and all this other stuff and he's going through buildings and he goes on to explain that uh he i, I feel like vegeta was was basically offended at the fact that how disrespectful zamasu and goku black were to the saiyan race because he goes on and says 
that you're a fake you, you don't uh you don't know how to use the cells of a saiyan that are inside the saiyan body and that only a numbskull the numbskull being uh goku knows how to use the saiyan cells that are inside that are inside of um the or that are inside black's body or zamasu's body if you want to be technical with it and then vegeta he's just he's just really upset because he's so offended at the fact that he did this just to attain a stronger body and yet he doesn't even know how to use the cells of a saiyan more properly and he's just basically offending the fact that the saiyans do exist and just what whatever bullshit you know vegeta the reason why I like this episode, especially the ending of the episode, so much is because Vegeta finally got a moment of shine. He, he finally got, he finally didn't get fucking, he finally didn't get the fucking shaft. And he finally had a moment of just pure badassery. And I, I absolutely love the end of this episode. And next episode on, and on episode 64, in the beginning, it's going to be absolutely amazing my dog is barking outside shut the fuck up the the next episode is going to be fucking amazing i want you guys to be prepared for it there actually is um a website that you can go watch dragon ball super, uh, super and um and uh, it's going to be in japanese but it's going to have proper english subtitles and you're going to watch and you can watch it legally i'll actually leave a description that uh, or a link in the description to that down below because not only are you are you watching it legally but what you can do is that you can sign up and then basically you can have a membership and you can pay like a premium edition or whatever it's called i forget what it's called but um basically it's gonna play with no ads but even then you can still watch it for, like completely for free all the only thing bad about it is that of course there's gonna be fucking ads which if you don't have a problem with ads being in there it's not really that big of a deal, but the thing, but the thing that makes this so great is the fact that we can finally um, officially legally watch Dragon Ball Super and support um, uh, Toei, um, Akira Toriyama, and just Funimation and just everything that just revolves around Dragon Ball, just in general. And I like how we can finally do this, and I'm finally, I'm so glad that we could just finally support the creator of Akira Toriyama, who created one of the most famous anime series of all time he's been doing an absolute amazing job with dragon ball super thus far and i'm i'm excited to see more i'm excited to see more if you guys are excited to see more videos like this be sure to um leave uh, leave a like and also subscribe for future videos next week on monday uh i i should have a video out if i don't then i apologize i most likely will because i've been super consistent with uh, these dragon ball super videos and um, I want you guys um, to go leave a like on all the other videos that are in the playlist. I'll probably leave the playlist uh, link in the description if you want to go check that out. Or you can just go on my channel and check it out for yourself. But uh, anyways, and about two days or so on Tuesday, uh, I, I'm thinking about live streaming uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 for the, for the very first time. Uh, play out the, uh, through the story mode. Play maybe play a little parallel quest. Maybe even go online against a couple of you guys if, uh, if you're if you're down for that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video. Like I said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And uh, let, me, let me know what else you want to see on the channel. And yeah, I'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.